Welcome to Pin the Q Productions. If you are interested in the culture of the fire service and keeping tradition alive, you have come to the right place. Now sit back and relax with your brothers and sisters and enjoy the show. Which line is actually holding the boat in place? Which is the stern line. See how yeah. tall that is? Yes. So that's the one actually keeping us from going that way. See how flat this is? Yeah. So it's really not doing anything. But we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna leave it off for now. But I'm gonna fix this because this is actually done wrong. Yeah. Turn out the muscle. Just lean back. This boat. Look, mom, I'm strong. Let me just bring it out of here. That's it. Make it neat. Look pretty. That's it, looks pretty. And then we can go on the boat and get it started. Um, you know, you get real close to something. Okay. Oh, don't get you past, man. Oh, yeah. That's just let people yeah, know I'm coming out. What was that guy's name? Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit of tight, tight turn on the uh, starboard side here. Slippage. 
and going into the main channel. And being that she's such a big big vessel, we have to let people know we're actually coming out. Which normally you're supposed to just blow one horn, just so people know you're going out. Because unlike streets, these channels and these marinas can be very narrow. Which could be a challenge if you come across another vessel coming in and you're about the same size. Give them the horn. Yeah. Give them the horn. Give them the universal signal. <laughs> We have a crew on board, and this is uh, from Engine 18, right, Cap? Yes. That's right, Engine right. 18. Which captain are you talking? Maritime captain or fire? Not the maritime captain. This is the maritime <laughs> captain. That's the fire captain. So, uh, Ben, why don't you run us real quickly through uh, what we're doing here? Um, we're actually involved in what we. One of our routine duties is uh, we we do a homeland security patrol of the waters surrounding Jersey City. Basically, uh, look out for other vessels that may need our assistance on occasion, especially over the holidays, um, especially in the summertime. We have lots of festivals going on and behind us. People tend to fall in for some reason. Right. <laughs> well, when you have this many people on the waterway, I mean, you're bound to have yeah, accidents or exactly, emergencies. Exactly. We also have a very active um, seaplane, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the heliport? The heliport, and uh, we have seaplanes landing on the East River. Oh, wow. Okay. So, on top of the on top of the boating traffic and just people in small watercraft, right. you also have people in the air. We have a lot of commercial traffic. Yes. Right, okay, yeah. so yeah, that's something yeah. I mean, honestly think about. Yeah. Right, top to, say, to say a helicopter a month uh, hits the water, no roughly. Wow. Roughly. Yeah. So, part of, your, part of your checks before you, I mean, I know we were getting involved in all those checks before you actually got the vessel onto the water. Explain some of those checks to us. Well, they're, they're pretty similar to the checks you would do on a pumper or even a truck, you do a visual check, make sure everything's where it needs to be. You look for obvious defects or deficiencies that you can identify. And it, you only learn what to look for over time. Right. You know what you know what the apparatus should look like, where the appliances should be located, what your supplies are, where they're located. You, you, that comes with time. But essentially doing a gross overview of the vessel, make sure she's not listing, right. um, which is almost similar to a fire truck, make sure that the tires aren't flat. Uh, we worry about taking on the water. Yeah, that's a problem. Yeah, this, this, <laughs> it's a minor minor hassle, especially on a vessel like this right. that has no flotation. I mean, if she's not um, filled with foam. She's basically uh, an aluminum hull. Okay. So if she takes on water, we're totally relying on the bilge pumps to pump it out. Sometimes they fail. So you're looking to make sure that she's actually sitting properly in the water. So just like anyone that has any any boat, it's a 
same checks. You're checking oil, you're checking, checking trans, oil, you're checking, you're checking steerage, you're right. making sure your uh, supplemental propulsion is working. Because you, because uh, once you release the lines, if you haven't done your checks and something goes bad, it's really hard to get back on the dock. <laughs> like, is, short of swimming. That is true. Right. It's not like you could throw an oar out the window. No, no, not something like this. <laughs> I mean, not this time. <laughs> no, no, no. So on top of just doing your patrols through Homeland Security, uh, obviously the other functions are being dispatched to different calls throughout the in the river, right? Right. Yeah, we're part of the uh, North Hudson Regional Task Force, which is a consortium of all the fireboats in the area. Dispatch with the and they'll dispatch us via radio okay. uh, directly uh, regarding any situations or events that may need our uh, attention, whether it be a person in the water vehicles in the water, uh, vessels in distress, um, that type of stuff. Explain some of the challenges you face, you know, out here with this size vessel on this water, especially with this much boating traffic. Is this typical just weekend traffic or is this more than normal? Um, it's seasonal. When the weather's nice, everybody wants to be out in the water, okay? And then combine that with any any holiday, it gets even twice as crowded. Right. I mean, the New York Harbor is a very busy harbor to begin with, with all the commercial traffic. With the ferries going by, with the tugboats going in and out of the various ports. We have container ships here as well that come in and out. Um, so you put civilian vessels or recreation vessels on top of that, it gets really, really busy. So you, you tend to operate with your head on the swivel yeah. for the most part. Um, just because you have a boat doesn't mean you know what you're doing. Right. <laughs> it's the same for us right. on the water, you know? Exactly. Just because you have a driver's license doesn't mean you know how to drive a car, right? Exactly. So the rules of the road are standardized, but most people don't really understand them. They, they knew them initially to, to get their motor safety course, uh, their, their certificate. But the actual practice um, changes or is forgotten as soon as you get on the water. So you're, you're a firefighter in Jersey City and you're like, man, I want to be part of the Marine unit. What, what does it take to get out to the Marine unit? Uh, at this point, you have to just apply. Just apply? <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's a bid position. Okay. Um, so it's no different than a truck in the engine? No. You got a bid for no, it? No, a bid for it. Um, you have to have a real passion for the boat. I mean, this is there's actually more checks involved with the boat than the, any a pump or a ladder, right. in my opinion, because if you have a problem on the water, there's nobody else really going to come out and help you. Right. Yeah. yeah. You're, you're the person they're calling for help. So you have to be self-sufficient, and obviously yeah. you have to be right. more disciplined than normal. Exactly. You, you, got, you, yeah. got, you have to understand um, propulsion systems, right. suppression systems on the boat, electrical, yes, um, emergency management. If you lose steerage, that type of stuff. Right. That you, you really can't pull over for most. You can't no. pull over for a problem. What was your uh, most notable experience on a boat so far since you've been on the unit? Oh, we actually had a fire. A fire? Yes. On the boat? On the boat. Oh, okay. Boat. We actually had a fire here. <laughs> so you didn't respond to a fire, you had a boat fire on yeah. the boat? Yeah. We are actually out in a training, uh, you know, training uh, evolution and uh, boats vibrate and wiring started to chafe and created a short and we actually had a fire in the engine bay. Oh, man. <laughs> the halon system really works. It's, well, that's good. It's, it's phenomenal, actually. <laughs> And uh, like I said, nobody's coming out to get you. Right. Uh, we had a situation, and the Coast Guard basically told us, uh, "Good luck." Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> fortunately, uh, you guys can't handle. No, uh, fortunately, FDNY came us, gave an assist, and towed us back. I mean, we were in, in danger of sinking. Um, the, the flames were, the fire was quickly extinguished, and uh, we were able to tie up onto a barge that was actually in the middle of the uh, okay, the so harbor off to the side. So. We are pretty safe. If, if you needed to evacuate the vessel, we could just hop onto the barge and right. be free and clear. Well, that's great. But, uh, ben, I appreciate you showing us around and you know showing us some of what it takes to be on uh, the Marine Unit for Jersey City. Anytime. So uh, we have the uh, the Canard Line over there. Uh, Queen Mary too. Yes. Yeah, she, that's your, maybe a, the way you yeah. I mean, she's a big vessel. She displaces, displaces a lot of water, and you see our wake back there. Yeah. And there. Uh, that is we, 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 too. we try not to upset all the other vessels in the water.
really important to be able to tie these. Again, I'm just going to pull back on this. Okay, I'm going to loosen this off. See if the weight's done there? That's wrong. It's gotta go around, over, over, lock it in. Now you can take that off when it's under under pressure. Right? Because it's not it's, it's there's a is a hitch, but this works off the, the pull and it locks this this uh, knot in. So if in an emergency you got to cut it off, all you have to do is Pull this until right up. Right? So it's over. And then we'll back. Thank you for listening to another Pin the Cue production. Be sure to subscribe and like us on all social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. For more information on Pin the Cue productions, visit www.pinthecue.com. Thank you.